हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बोज आइंस्टाइन कंडेंसेशन लेट्स विगेन बोज आइंस्टाइन कंडेंसेशन इज द फिनोमिन अकरिंग इन माइक्रोस्कोपिक सिस्टम दैट माइक्रोस्कोपिक सिस्टम कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ a large number of bosons and these bosons at a sufficiently low temperature we know bosons are those identical indistinguishable particles which do not obey pauli exclusion principle and these particles have zero spin or integral spin and these particles also obe bos einstein statistics a large number of bosons at a sufficiently low temperature in which a significant fraction of the particles occupy a single quantum state of lowest energy which is called bos einstein condensation let we understand it if we take the energy level diagram of such bosons in that of system that with the ground state energy if uh, there are three number of bosons four number of bosons in that of ground state for the excited states there are number of bosons let 2 uh, 1 like this as say at a sufficiently low temperature at a sufficiently low temperature what happened a significant fraction of the particles occupy a single quantum state that quantum state of lowest energy means at very very low temperature these uh, particles these bosons are towards the ground state suddenly the population in that of ground state increases so that energy level diagram now transformed at very low temperature suddenly the number of bosons are increased at the ground state why all the bosons are in that of single quantum state as we say bosons do not obey pauli exclusion principle according to pauli exclusion principle it is forbids means it don't allow two number of uh, same identical particles at a single quantum state or single energy level since bosons do not obey pauli exclusion principle in order to say at very very low temperature the bosons present at higher energy level now transport to that of lower energy level suddenly at very low temperature the population increased in that of ground state this is the energy level diagram
and that type of phenomenon is called Bose-Einstein condensation. The Bose-Einstein condensation can only takes place for bosons. Why? That be the cause since bosons do not obey Pauli exclusion principle and they have a, a zero or integral spin and they obey Bose-Einstein statistics. These are the basic cause why bosons are under that of Bose-Einstein condensation instead of fermions. In case of fermions, they obey Pauli exclusion principle and uh, the intrinsic pro property which is spin, spin is odd integral multiple that is uh, half 3 by 2, 5 by 2 like this and fermions obey Fermi derived statistics. Therefore, bosons are those particles which are under Bose-Einstein condensation because they do not obey Pauli exclusion principle. Therefore, only bosons are under Bose-Einstein condensation. Next point, Bose-Einstein's condensate, Bose-Einstein's condensate is referred as the fifth state of matter. The matter we formed due to the process of Bose-Einstein condensation is called Bose-Einstein's condensate and that Bose-Einstein condensate is nothing but our fifth state of matter. State of matter that is uh, solid, liquid, gas, then another form which is called plasma. What are plasma? Generally, we are dealing with three state of matter that is solid, liquid, gas, then another state which is called plasma that is uh, the ionized gas means if we increase the temperature of a gaseous state, then they are ionized either positive or negative ions. This uh, form of ionized gaseous states are considered as plasma. Example of such plasma uh, is uh, stars various types of uh, astronomical objects, not uh, astronomical objects, uh, but uh, we call it as uh, uh, celestial bodies are made in that matter which is called plasma. Look here, if uh, we decrease the temperature of a gas, then it is changed to liquid. Again, if we further decrease the temperature of liquid, then it is transformed to solid. At the same time, if we decrease the temperature which is at absolute zero, around 273 Kelvin like this, at very very low temperature the gas changes to a new state. That state is called Bose-Einstein's condensate. Bose-Einstein condensate. Due to that condensation, as uh, before explained, Bose-Einstein condensation at a very very low temperature we obtain that state. So, Bose-Einstein's condensate is the peak state of matter. Okay? So, the states of matters are solid, liquid, gas, plasma and Bose-Einstein's condensate which is called the fifth state of matter. How we obtained? We explained it. Next point, the phenomenon of superfluidity is uh, explained by using Bose-Einstein condensation. How we explain the phenomenon of 
सुपर फ्लूडिटी लुक यार एग्जाम्पल द सुपर फ्लूडिटी इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लिक्विड हिलियम सुपर फ्लूडिटी इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लिक्विड हिलियम दैट लिक्विड हिलियम एट वेरी लो टेम्परेचर वेरी लो टेम्परेचर दैट लिक्विड हिलियम enables it to flow without friction at a very low temperature that uh, enables it to flow without friction This is the property of super fluidity. Now, helium, helium atom has two isotopes. One isotope both isotopes of helium atom possesses this super fluidity property this property that is वन आइसोटॉप ऑफ हिलियम टू एच सी फोर टू हिलियम फोर दैट हिलियम एटम सुपर फ्लूड एट अ टेम्परेचर अराउंड टू पॉइंट वन सेवन टू कैलभिन अनदर आइसोटॉप ऑफ हिलियम एट इज हिलियम टू एच सी थ्री दैट आइसोटॉप ऑफ हिलियम डॉसेंट बिकम सुपर फ्लूड ऑनटिल द टेम्परेचर दैट इज सुपर फ्लूड at uh, temperature 0.00093 kelvin at that temperature this isotope of helium which is uh, 2he3 becomes super fluid super fluid is that property of liquid helium means at very low temperature that uh, enables to flow without any friction and that is achieved due to the phenomenon of बोज आइंस्टाइन्स कंडेंसेशन नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बोज आइंस्टाइन कंडेंसेशन एट वेरी लो टेम्परेचर दैट टेम्परेचर अराउंड टू इंटू टेन टू द पर माइनस सेवेन कैलभिन ए बोज आइंस्टाइन कंडेंसेशन कैन फॉर्म इन हुईज सेवेरल थाउजेंड आटम्स बिकम ए सिंगल एंटिटी हुईज इज कॉल्ड सुपर आटम let we can explain it as we say in case of quantum statistics the bosons which are identical indistinguishable particles okay in heisenberg's uncertainty principle we say that uh, particles 
all the moving particles are associated with a wave. This is the state of Bose-Einstein condensation. Each of these bosons have its own wave since these particles are indistinguishable. So, the waves are now superimposed with each other and all these bosons are now as treated as a single wave. Now, all the atoms now behave like a single atom which is called super atom. Example, that uh, super atom that effect this super atom effect has been observed with atoms of rubidium and lithium rubidium and uh, lithium. So, by taking the phenomenon of Bose-Einstein condensation is at very very low temperature rubidium and uh, lithium behaves like a super atom and uh, the phenomenon of superconductivity can achieved from these two atoms one is rubidium and another one is lithium so what is super atom we explain it by using quantum statistics or quantum theory as these particles are identical but indistinguishable and each particle has its own wave all the particles are in a single state so all the waves of uh, these particles are superimposed with each other and they are treated like a single wave of a single boson. So, that is referred to super atom. Okay? So, with the help of this video lecture, we understand the concept of Bose-Einstein condensation. What is Bose-Einstein condensation? The mechanism behind to explain the type of condensation fifth state of matter which is called Bose Einstein's condensate the phenomenon of superfluidity and the concept of super atom can easily explain by using Bose Einstein condensation. So, with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session. Thank you.